All right, first on the list, this is a kefir lime. And you can see it's plentiful and they've been dropping so they're right in season. Um, you can use them like a regular lime, although they're not excellent for that. They're better for just cutting open and then they make it mostly for fragrance. They're very strong. You could use them with cooking or for fragrance. I probably wouldn't put it in a drink, but I'm going to send quite a few of these. All right, next on the list, these are Eureka Lemons, which are kind of like your typical lemon you'd buy in the store. These ones are ripe, and as you can see, this tree's been going nuts. So I'm gonna send a bunch of these. All right, so after those lemons, this is a very interesting tree here. The kumquat which I sent before. Um, the problem is a lot of these aren't quite ripe. These are close. Um, that one is a no. So I'm gonna send some of these. The trick with these is eat the whole thing. Peel everything. Um, or you can try to eat just the fruit inside, but the fruit's actually sour and the peel's a little more sweet. So the recommended is just chomp the whole thing. That's next. So really, I'd like to get more, but they're just not quite ready. Um, and this is one, and there's I have seven more over there. So we should have plenty of these, but they need another month. Oh, that's actually a good one right there. See that one? It's a little small, but it's pretty orange. So those are winners. Now, I'm going to stop right over here. i got to load these up. And then I'm going to grab a couple of these special oranges. You can see more than enough lemons to still make more lemonade. All right, these couple right here. One of these is a blood orange. It's called a Moro blood orange. Um, and actually, this is not it. This is my uh, pink navel. Um, the pink navels are amazing, like the best orange probably you'd ever have. Like this one's clearly a winner, but um, the way I... Hi. Hello. I'm busy. Um, so the way that I do a lot of these, because this tree is precious. I mean, these, these trees are a couple hundred bucks for a much smaller version. So the way I do these is I'll come in, I'll uh, get the one I want, and I'll just clip it. All right, so that's a winner right there. I'll get a few of these. The way you can tell is on the bottom, they'll have, they call it a navel. So if you see these, these will be um, pink navel. Very good. Then I'm gonna get a blood orange next, but I'll, I'll put a few of these, so watch for these. All right, so this one was actually already split open. Partially, we had a couple frosts already, actually. I'm gonna just get a little spot here. And I'm gonna just peel it, one-handed maybe. Let me open it up. All right, so trying to get my color to correct, but that is not orange it's like a pink um yeah you can't quite tell but this is pink these are really good all right they're very nervous but they're safer in here the sun's going down so it's it's coyote time so i don't let them out right now but that's that pink navel really amazing I was looking at, there's a uh, blood orange over here. I'm gonna put a couple in, they're not quite ripe. So the taste might not be perfect, but um, it'll be cool to check them out anyway. All right, so this is that uh, blood orange here. And you can see it looks just a little different. It doesn't have the real strong, like navely belly button look. Um, Shoot, it looks like those three are pretty good to go. So these, I'll give a twist. 
Um, in fact, those two are kind of coupled, so I'll just drop it. Boom. <clears throat> These are oranges with a hint of like a raspberry type taste. Um, they're literally the color blood. So this is the, well, they'll roll around and I'll pack them up later. Um, these ones are actually, I don't know, maybe, maybe the pink navel is my favorite or maybe these are my favorite, but these are some of the best oranges for sure. See, these are all a little too pale, just not quite ready, but I've got a few more blood orange trees to check. So I'm going to include at least a, a few. Hey, these, and these get much darker. You can see this one's starting to turn red. Um, so I'm going to go for that one. Okay, next we're going down the hill. All right, so here we go, coming down the hill. And I've got um, pomegranates to my left, but those are out of season. Those ones hanging up are ones that squirrels have hollowed out and they've already eaten. That's another blood orange that looked pretty promising. This is a tangelo. Um, which is kind of a mix between a pomelo, which is like a, a, a sweeter grapefruit, a non-bitter grapefruit, and an orange. So um, part pomelo, part orange. These I really like. Um, they have a very unique shape. So they're this type of shape, smooth skin. Um, fairly easy to peel. Uh, the good flesh, good for eating, but even better in my opinion is for juicing so these about about three of these will make a good cup of juice and it's orange juice but it's it's got it's like tang it's almost like a, like literally tang in the glass got a quite a zing so i'm gonna load a bunch of these um because you can see it's doing really well and i'll come back to that this one is, I believe, I believe from memory, this is a Mercot Mandarin, um, but which I, which they call a honey Mandarin. Honey Mandarin would be the slang. I might be able to get a couple of these. So these are also fairly smooth skin, but they're almost flat looking, like kind of pancaked. Um, I think I can get a couple of those. So a few of those will be good. Some of them are out of season. These ones over here that are coming in are actually specifically for juice, but not ready. This is another tangelo, so I'm really loaded on tangelos. Those will be a staple. And then this one, you gotta pay attention because, well, you have to pay attention because you don't know how to eat it. And you don't. But I have to pay attention because look at these huge thorns. So this is a Japanese citrus called a yuzu. Um, and basically anything you'd use a lemon for with regards to cooking, you use this. So if it's yellow, kind of loose fitting, these are easy to peel. I could peel, you can see this juice is spraying right out of it. These are very, very loose skin. And you can see it's yellow in there. So this is strong smell, really good for cooking. It's more of like a use in Asian cuisine. So I got a lot of these. This was a baby tiny little exotic tree and I planted a long time ago, so it's pretty big now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack some of these. This one will be a throwaway. I'm gonna throw it right at the bottom of the tree because those will break down and become nutrients. These don't get any abnormal fertilizer. They get um, fish emulsion or, uh, or um, chicken manure, that's it. And if you look, these ones may not be ready, but these are also the honey mandarin. Um, this is another tangelo. Tangelos are right in season right now, so those are gonna be good. This is called a satsuma mandarin. These satsumas, you'll notice, they look a little bit like a tangelo, but they're a little flatter not quite as flattened down as that honey mandarin but um, these are good for eating you could juice but these are better for eating so they're pretty loose skinned they're easy to peel if i time it right 
they're very sweet this might be just a little premature and as you can see if i take a step back it's actually a really small tree that tree is like not even four feet tall you can see it's an ambitious little tree so i really need to get those off there anyway that's probably not that's too much fruit really for that tree so i'm not sure that these will be excellent but they'll probably still be pretty good and then next is another type of orange it's a tango mandarin this has the shape of the tangelo but it's very pimply um, these are also good for eating they're a little bit like the satsuma but they do um, they're, they're probably just a little bit more bland but they're very easy to peel so like those two right there definitely are a winner a lot of these up here are not ready but this tree is probably one of the highest producing we've got I planted it five years ago plus so it's done well it's just packed like the more the deeper you look inside of it the more there will be but as you can see a lot of these will not be ready but looking up in there that's a winner up in here for sure so look for these they can get pretty big same you know the thing with these though i have to cut them off because if i pull like we'll pick uh take this one that's easy to see if i pull it a lot of times it'll happen watch ready exactly what happens every time so that we wouldn't want to ship that that's open so i gotta i gotta clip these off so they'll come with some leaves um but they're still good and then uh there's a couple more this is my personal favorite shoot some of these in there this is a kishu also japanese mini mandarin these are totally seedless these are kind of like peels or they have different brands but it's a clementine um, but it's specifically a seedless clementine that's very sweet and then this is the Meyer lemon that had so many lemons it was breaking branches so I pruned it way back and I got it propped up with this wood these would be anything you want to do with lemons but also they make some pretty cool lemonade because they have they're a lot sweeter and a lot less sour and as you can see there's no shortage so there's gonna be a bunch of these Meyer lemon in there and the last real big producer right here is another um, tango mandarin so these ones will be in there as well easy to peel loose and then down the way i got a few grapefruit coming in a few more satsuma mandarin a really cool tree that's not ready but right there that's a pink lemonade and those are lemons but they're literally pink inside and sweet so probably one or two years and then it's all being um irrigated from the well which also irrigates this and there's no chlorine there's no city water there's no chemicals there's really nothing around here um we got apples but they're not even close to ready and so hopefully the fruit is good um it's kind of a lot of work to pick it all but i'm happy to do it if it's appreciated the sun's going down and the temperature's dropping so i'm gonna get busy here but merry christmas anyway